Hey, what's up everyone? So have you ever been in a situation where you needed to give out your phone number, but you didn't really want to, maybe you didn't really trust the person, or maybe you just really didn't know them? Welcome, my name is Johnny, and today we're talking about Google Voice. So it's gonna give you the ability to have a second phone number for free. And this second phone number is gonna allow you to make calls, text messages, and do everything else you would do on your regular number. You will need a Gmail account to sign up, but after that, it's pretty easy. It also offers you the ability to change your number if you need to. Let's say somebody got a hold of it that you didn't want to, you can change it, but you will have to pay $10. Or in my case, I've changed in the past, I've just got a new Gmail and then I made a new number. It really does come in handy. I use it as a second number for my business so that I don't have any strangers that I meet that I may be doing business with having my personal number. Because if you know, it's a pain in as you know, changing your number and then alerting all your friends and family of your new number is not exactly something you want to do all that often. And with this Google Voice number, depending on who you've given to, you won't have to. You can just get a new number. So this tutorial is going to go over how you set it up and some of the settings inside of Google Voice. So the first thing you want to do is you actually want to head over to Google Voice on your computer. Once you're there, you're going to use your Gmail to sign in or you're going to create a Gmail and then sign up. It's going to drop you into the dashboard and it's going to ask you to pick a number. So here is where you get to choose where your number comes from. So depending on the location you choose, it'll give you a different area code. So from there, you have some options on hooking up a device. And this is the good part because you can use it on the computer, but you could also use it on your current phone. And the way it works is when somebody calls in, it'll go straight into your phone and it'll ring like a normal phone call. Like you don't even have a second line. This is called linking a device. And when you link a device, you have a couple options. You can have it so that when someone calls you, it shows your Google voice number, or you can have it show the person that is calling you. But I will warn you of this, if you have the caller ID option, you're not going to know whether it's a Google Voice call or whether it's a personal call on your regular number. I've set it up so that it shows me my phone number from Google Voice so that I know each time that number comes in, I know that it's a business call and not a personal call. So inside the account settings on Google Voice, you'll find all the devices that you've connected so you can connect multiple devices so that you can receive these calls anywhere. And that's also where you would link your number so that it would go to that particular device. And then you have some forwarding options. So you can actually have voicemails and messages be forwarded to your email. So if you're someone who checks your email, then you can go that route. But like I said, if you connect a device, it'll actually go to the device. And if you get the Google Voice app from the Play Store or the Apple Store, then you'll be able to receive phone calls and send text messages and receive text messages through the app on your device. And there's another little option inside of the settings that I want to bring your attention to. You can make it so that when you make a call, it's an anonymous call. And speaking of calls, when you make a Google Voice call, it will call out to another number and then redirect that number to the phone number that you're calling. So it'll look a little funny, it'll look like you're not calling the person you're supposed to be calling, but it actually is. It's just redirecting your call to a Google server out to the person that you want to call. Now there's a couple options for screening calls. There's a really strong spam filter by Google that will filter out all the spam and just send it to your email or and or block the call altogether. So if that's something you're into, you can go ahead and check that box. And another cool feature is the do not disturb. So if you toggle that on, all calls will be forwarded to your voicemail and you won't be disturbed. And inside of the voicemail, it actually has transcription too. So it'll take what the person has said and it'll transcribe it so that you can see it as a text. Speaking of voicemail, you can go with the default or you can create your own. So you can actually record a greeting and add it to your Google Voice. That way it's a little more custom to you and more inviting to people to leave a voicemail. So that's pretty much it for the settings on the PC, but now we're gonna talk about the phone. So like I said earlier, you can get this app from the Google Play Store or you can get it from the Apple App Store. Now once you've downloaded, all you have to do is log in and it'll bring on all that information that you set up online. And if you look at the bottom, you'll see some controls. You'll be able to send text messages, make calls, check your voicemail, and even save contacts. And it even has the ability to sync your contacts so you can use those inside of Google Voice. And inside of there, there are a few settings that you can change from there. But overall, it's basically just a phone app that allows you to make calls and make text messages just like you would with your standard phone apps on your phone. So again, this just makes it really easy to have a second phone number that's free and that you don't have to worry about losing or having to change. What are you gonna use your Google Voice number for? Let me know down in the comments. If this was helpful, please hit the like button. And remember, if you wanna learn more about awesome gadgets and cool tech, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you wanna see more of my videos, check out these right here. I do appreciate you coming. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.